having found fame fronting the indie band The Foxes, the London-based singer-songwriter Nigel Thomas has this week released his solo debut single with a full album, apparently in the pipeline. Well, Nigel joins us now. Thank you for coming in. Oh, we'll talk you. about the pipeline and the album uh, in a moment. But first, this, this track, it's called Fever. Yes. And it has a personal story behind it, doesn't it? It does. I was kind of inspired to write it um, one time uh, a few years ago when I was ill and I was getting up to go to the bathroom and I collapsed in the kitchen and I kind of thought, what would it be like if there was no one else around to help me and I was just going to lie there because I sort of passed out for a brief while. Um, so I was kind of inspired to write a sort of a, a quite a dark track about that sort of despair and hopelessness, mm. I suppose. Yeah, yeah the, the video, it, it's, it's quite intense to watch. There is, there is a dark video to it, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I suppose that the, the video is a, a slightly different kind of package that kind of represents how Hollywood represents um, a sort of a deranged mind mm. and uh, sort of mental health issues, so, yeah. Let's just talk about the Foxes, because I know there was no big bust-up. No, it wasn't, no. You just, what was it, I mean, you went on tour, you were, you were touring for several years, yeah. solidly. Was well, we, it... toured, we toured America, we toured yeah. Europe, we, yeah, all over, we had a great time. Um, it, I think it just kind of almost ran its course. We uh, released an, um, a debut album with John Cornfield, um, really proud of it, but um, I guess we just got really tired at the end. We were just sort of constantly touring, constantly working, and it, uh, people got married and had babies and things, and uh, which is you know fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but it just kind of reached its natural conclusion, I think. Life kind of life happens. Away. Yeah, yeah, life yeah. happens. Uh, what, what have you been doing since then? Because I don't think you'll have been sat doing nothing. I'm sure you've been very busy. No, I've been yeah, I've been keeping busy. I've been sort of obviously working on the music, which I'm here for today. Mm. Um, I do acting as well. So I uh, had a film out earlier this year called Candlestick. Uh, we had a nice little LA premiere earlier in the year too. So uh, that and a few been musicals amazing and to be out there an LA premiere. It was great. Yeah, yeah it was really nice. Yeah. What is it like to be back on your own? Uh, do you feel slightly lonely not having the band there? <laughs> often, or, yeah, often or, I sit alone. And, uh, or is it, is, it, is it freedom? Is it kind of to, to um, kind of get on with things? It's a bit of both. There is, the, you do have that element of freedom where, you know, you, especially in the studio, you can kind of just say, right, I'd like it this way, and then you can kind of do it that way. But, um, uh, you know, I'm lucky enough to work, I've worked with some fantastic musicians on this who are mm. kind of so good that, you know, I sort of... 99% of the ideas I really like and I can kind of put into it, but then the freedom to ultimately decide what happens. Yeah, and the single's out now, but it there is. is news of an album. Album, yes. It's coming out in uh, February. Um, I tentatively titled uh, Travelling Man, uh, and that's a full album. Um, and it's quite different. I think some of the songs are quite different to the single. Um, so uh, one song starts with a harp and there's lots of strings on it. Uh, there's some quieter numbers, there are some heavier. So I think, yeah, you might be surprised after hearing the single to then hear the album, but in a good way, I think. Right. And I know you're busy kind of performing as well. You're off to Scotland later this week. Off to Scotland, yeah, and then Germany, um, and then a bigger tour next year. Any potential London gigs maybe next year? Yes, yeah, we were thinking of possibly doing a sort of Union Chapel launch, but we'll, we'll see. OK. Yeah, but definitely, definitely some more London shows, yeah. Fantastic. And you'll be forming uh, live for us at the end as well with yes. Fever. Yeah, Fever. Lovely. I look forward to it. Nigel, for now, thank you very much. Thank you.